Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome to the first Reaper tutorial where I'm going to show the basics, real basics of setting up the Reaper digital audio workstation in a visually impaired perspective. So in this video, we are going to look at how to install Reaper and the other accessibility tools needed to make the software accessible to us for using effectively, okay? So my primary screen reader is NVDA non-visual desktop access and also if you are a person who uses the JAWS screen reading software as the default uh, screen reading software as the primary uh, screen reader uh, you have to do one more step in order to maximize the accessibility of the software by installing the JAWS scripts for the Reaper okay so without further ado, let's get started with the installing processes of all of the things and uh, I will explain the basics of the Reaper while doing the tasks. Okay, let's go. Right, so I have downloaded Reaper um, the Reaper. setup. You can uh, visit the link in the description to download the Reaper from the official site. Reaper, Reaper accessibility. Reaper underscore JAWS scripts, Reaper 600, 5 underscore H64 installed X304. Now this is the setup, the latest Reaper version, V6. Reaper 6.05. I agree but no pleasure. As the time of this recording. So you have to press I agree. Rest next greater than property page space required. 123.6 MB setup will This is very standard. Wow. Portable install checkbox less than back next greater than but no pleasure. Next. Press Reaper secure desktop. Reaper V6. Give the permissions. Less than back button. Property page select components to install. Select components to install. Space required. One optional functionality half check collapse two of five level. Leave those as default. Desktop icon check three of five. Start menu shortcuts check four of five. Associate with RPP. Reaper project. Files check five of five level zero. Less than back install button mode. Press close. Unavailable. Show details button mode plus D. Speed for progress bar updates. Close button mode plus C. Right. Now Reaper has been installed. It's a very tiny installer, just uh, 11 MB, 12 MB. Reaper V6.05, X64, setup dialog, Reaper installed, run now, yes, but note plus Y. Not now, you have to press no because we have to install other softwares. No, but note plus N. Okay. Press Reaper accessibility window. Now, the other software is Osara. Osara underscore 2020.131. Which you can get from the development snapshot page, which I will link in the description box below. Don't worry. Osara 2020.131167. Yeah, there is... I agree button. An agree button. You have to read the license and press agree. Press next greater than property page install into a standard or portable installation of Reaper. Standard installation radio button check out plus S. We will be looking at the portable concept in a later video, so don't worry about that. Just less than back next greater. Press next. Press install property page. Check the components you want to install and uncheck the components you don't want to install. Click install to start the installation. Check the components you want to install and uncheck the computer. Replace existing key map with a SAR key map. Check two of two level zero. Yes. A SAR plug and not check one of two level zero. Yes. Those. Uh, defaults just leave it as default and press enter and it will be installed to the uh, standard version of Reaper which we installed earlier right show details but note plus D close but note plus C okay closed Reaper accessibility window I now the other uh, thing that you have to install is an extension called SWS SWS 2.10.0.16 as always the link is in the description box below secure desktop Permission. SWS extension X64 setup. Again, press agree. I agree, but no pleasure. Press next greater than. No soft install system V2.45 property page now, space. It will select the standard version of Reaper automatically, so you can press browse. But less than back next greater than but no plus Next. N. Install no soft install system V2. And proof check two of two level extension DLL not check one of two. Leave it as default and press enter, and it will install the SWS extension to the standard version of Reaper. System V2.45 property page. Right. Show close button focus alt plus Reaper close. access. Now, as long as you are using NVDA as your primary screen reader, the steps are over, so you can get started uh, using Reaper. Not selected. But if you are using JAWS as a screen reader, you have to install the JAWS script, which you can get from the Snowman's uh, script page. Uh, he is the one who develops the script and uh, the link is in, in the description box below. So you can... Reaper underscore JAWS scripts underscore 32.x204 Now, as the time of this recording, the latest version of the script is the version 32. 
Secure desktop. So now the permission. Landscape desktop window. Reaper jaw scripts. Build 32 setup. Just the standard installer. Cancel less than back button. Next greater than next. Red Reaper jaw scripts. Build 32 setup dialog scripter. See backslash users backslash modem ration backslash app data. Okay button focus. Okay. Red Reaper jaw scripts. Build 32 setup dialog compiler. See backslash okay button okay. focus. Press Reaper jaw. See backslash Reaper jaw scripts. Build finish button focus. Alt plus F. Finish. Red Reaper jaw scripts. Build 32 setup dialog. Congratulations. You have successfully installed Reaper underscore jaw scripts on your computer. Focus in the application and press insert plus Q to confirm that the scripts are installed and working okay button okay now press reaper accessibility you can open reaper desktop list reaper. for the first time so let's open reaper for the first time reaper x64 2 of 8 press enter reaper reaper dialog you have not yet selected an audio device would you like to select your audio device driver now recommended yes but note plus y so when you open the software for the first time you have to set all of the preferences so let's press yes Prep, reaper repeat off reaper reaper preferences dialog preview level one device one of nine and edit blank find button okay but cancel button press tab dialog audio thread prior allow projects to override device sample audio, audio system combo box wave out collapsed uh, i recommend you to set the audio system to wasabi windows 7 8 10 slash vista wasabi windows 10 uh, the thing okay Audio thread priority combo box ACO default slash MMCSS pro audio slash time critical collapse. Leave it as default. Allow projects to override device sample rate checkbox checked. Audio device settings grouping. Audio device settings property page. Zero input mode combo box share mode collapsed. Okay. Input device combo box default input collapsed. It's not a big deal. Output device combo box default output collapsed. Okay, it's not a big deal. Input channels edit selected two. Output channels edit selected two. Block size edit selected 512. Now the block, uh, block size determined the latency of your devices which we will talk about later preview edit let find but okay but in a later video okay so let's press okay rest now um reaper is not a free thing uh it's a paid thing but you can evaluate the software for about 60 days okay and as soon as you press enter on the executable the desktop icon you will be directed to the registration screen which you can press still evaluating to skip the registration thing you can use the mouse to find the about reaper thing reaper is not free it is a paid software product if you use it more than 60 days you are required to purchase a license you have been evaluating reaper for approximately one day you have run reaper one time for a total of 0 to 12. reaper licenses are very reasonably priced we offer discounts for personal non-commercial use and for very small businesses we are showing you this message instead of crippling this evaluation version of reaper because we do not feel that technological enforcement of licensing policy is in the best so on and so forth http so property you can press purchase reaper license still evaluating button still evaluating Red reaper v6.05 slash x64 evaluation license pain right now to check whether we have done the installation process the osara sws all those things uh correctly you can press up down arrow no tracks and no tracks if it is says no tracks then you have done the job correctly and reaper is accessible for screen reader users okay so this is the basic of reaper and as the last thing Let's check whether JAWS is compatible with Reaper, okay? So I'm gonna quit Reaper. Exit NVDA dial. Sorry, quit uh, NVDA. And uh, let's open JAWS. JAWS professional, track list. Now it says insert plus Q, then it will report whether it has the scripts installed or not. Uh, remember at the setup screen, at the end of the setup, it says that, right? So let's press insert Q. Reaper scripts, version 32 settings, reaper.exe, R-E-A-P-E-R, E-X-E. Okay, now JAWS scripts has been also configured correctly and we are good to go. Now, there are tons of things which you can do by using Reaper. For instance, creating music and uh, editing audio podcasts and all of the stuff which we will look at in another video because uh, this is kind of a complicated topic very complex to, uh, topic to explain in a, one video so I would like to divide the videos into many videos so you can gain the knowledge step by step and uh, as usual if you have any questions comments thoughts please leave, me, leave it in the comment section and uh, it would encourage me to create the tutorials because uh, yeah this is kind of a a big step 
towards the accessibility of the Reaper. So I would like to do my best to uh, give the tutorial as much as possible in a clear manner. So yeah, thank you very much for watching the first video and uh, let's meet on the next video. As usual, the resources are being given in the description box below so you can access all of the things at once, right? Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Signing out, Mamad Ashad.